Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of 24 Weeks of Christmas. I apologize for the lateness of this video, but I have been trying to upload the original video forever and it just would not upload. Um, so I finally tapped into some internet. <laughs> Hopefully this video will load in a timely manner and you will get it. So what do I have for you today? So for today, I am going to be making some little... Um, you can use them as tags or little gift card holders or treat holders. Um, but it's something that I'm going to try a long time. And I was inspired by um, Darby from Rejoice and Create. But I didn't have all the things that she had to make them. So I had to kind of create a little, get creative and come up with a design of my own. So what are we going to be making? We're going to be making these cute little stockings. Now I am using the paper line uh, from... Um, recollections that I got I don't know was a year and a half ago whatever the sugar blush and I'm going to be using a lot of this paper this year I just like that pink um and I'm going to be making some of these little treat holders for some friends of mine in, a, in our little um church group and some other lady friends I have um to send some little jewelry that I'm making so um it's perfect size in here just perfect size to fit a gift card or a jewelry container or anything else you want to put in there. So um, these were this one was my first one that I did, or was it this one? One of these was, <laughs> yeah, it was this was the first one that I did, and I just did it by hand, like I didn't have any guide or anything to go with it. And I mean, I think it came out cute. This is the second one I did, and I wound up using this little coffee pod. Because you need a diameter that is about two inches. And I did not have a two inch punch. I, the one that I other one I had was just too small. And so this worked out perfect. So we're going to be using this. So let's get started. Um, and as we get started, let me remind you to please check out everybody else's. Um, Miss Angie from AB Designs. Her video is already up. She's done some really cute little things to, for this week. And then, I'm not sure if G's participating this week, but if he is, head on over to his channel. He's got some lovely decor things up that he's been doing his home for the fall, so go check him out anyway. And then, Mr. Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet. Um, I don't know if his will be up today or not, but he usually gets his up during the week. So, okay. With that being said, you're going to need a piece of paper that is 4 by 8 now, I've already cut these down into strips that are four inches. Now, um, you can get four of these out of a 12 by 12 if you just cut it creatively. <laughs> so, I am going to cut this down now to eight inches. And then you're left with this little square right here. And these make wonderful little additions to, you know, something you can do with them. They're big enough pieces to keep for sure. So that is all we need our trimmer for. All right, so we, we don't have much measuring to do on this. So all you're going to do now is take your paper and make sure you line the corners up really well. And you are going to fold it in half. Very simple so far, right? So this really isn't hard, but um, it just took a little figuring out measurement wise. So, man, I wish I had a skinny scoreboard on these for this reason. Okay, so I'm going to place this in my scoreboard with the folded side on zero. And we got four inches here. Then I am going to take, well, first before I do that, I am going to measure two inches down. And I'm going to put a little tick mark there. And then I'm going to take my ruler. And just draw a very line, very faint line. Easy enough to be erased, okay? And then we're going to take our scoring tool here. And we're going to go over one inch, it'll be three inches. And we're going to go down to that line. And score. Might need to go over it a couple of times because you're going through two pieces of paper. Okay. So that is all we need for that, and then we can erase our lines. Okay. So 
now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where that two inch mark is and we're going to make a slit up to the score line. So you're going to have two flaps here and here. If you open it up on this back flap, we're going to make sure that we cut this on that score line, in the middle of the score line, so that when we close it, you won't be able to see it. Now the top flap is going to be our little tab. And I'm just gonna cut off some, you know, leave about a half an inch. Okay, so this is going to be folded in like this. So this is gonna be our little tab. And you can see how the stocking is kind of taking shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on the round side here and I'm going to place it from, from the top, I mean from the bottom up just like this until those edges meet. Whoops, I moved it. Then I'm just going to take my pencil and trace around that, okay? Then over here, I'm going to go from the bottom up to that two inch mark. You see, it comes all the way up to the two inch mark. Move it over here. And then we're going to trace that circle all the way up to the two inch mark. And I'm just going to kind of round it from there. A coffee pod really would work better but because it wouldn't have this little hump in it, but I make it work. So then all we're going to do is, is cut out this. And I'm going to go back around and make sure I cut out the pencil line. So I can get a good circle on that. Then I'm going to come over here and start from the bottom and cut out my circle. And as we go around, we're going to go all the way up to that score line right there. So we get our little shape there. Then the next thing we're going to do is just we're going to take a little glue. You could use wet glue. You can use tape. But I will tell you, um, it's really, I think it's better to use wet glue because the tape just isn't quite strong enough to hold it all. Okay, so we're going to put there on the toe, and then we're just going to go around the bottom with some glue. And we're going to flip this over. And see that little tab gives us extra room for um, our gift card or whatever. It provides like a little tiny gusset there. So then we are going to... I have another little scrap piece of paper here. And I am going to cut that down to about an inch and a half. Let's put it on this side. Let's see, maybe an inch. Yeah, about right, right there. Make sure I'm straight. This is not cutting well. I think it moves when I, let's try that again. I think it moves when I, I shut it down because it's such a small measurement. Let's do this. There we go. We're going to take this and we're going to wrap it around our little stocking. So, and we're just going to come up just a tiny bit, maybe a sixteenth of an inch from the top. And then we're going to wrap this around like this. Okay. So let's put some glue on it.
And if you're doing a Christmas journal, these would also make great pockets or tuck spots for Christmas journals. I think. Line it up in the back. There we go. So that it's even. Okay, so that's that part. Now we're going to take my crepidol here. And I'm using the... Uh, I think I used the... Eighth of an inch. The largest hole. And I'm going to go over here to the corner and just punch a hole. <coughs> and then I have some twine, this pinkish twine here. I'm just going to cut off a little bit. Now these also would make great gift tags for a present or something. And I'm going to tie a knot in the bottom of it. Okay. And then just feed that through our little hole here. And then loop it through like that. Whoops. That that was a big fail. <laughs> Let's try that again. See now in the first video everything went perfect. <laughs> I didn't have any problems at all. Okay, let's try that again. Let's put it in the right thing this time. There we go. Okay. So these will make great gift tags, too. You could decorate the front, and then on the back, you could stamp, like, to and from. And maybe put a little gift card and something in there. Okay, the next thing we can do, I had these flowers from my collection, and I decided to use these. They were kind of big enough to cover up the hole, and I liked them. And voila. You have your little Santa stocking. Isn't that cute? I just love how they turned out. And very simply, easy to make. Now, um, I will link Darby's video in the description box. She did hers with um, a punch, a two-inch punch. And what she did was, and I'll kind of show you, when she cut these out like this, she would take the bottom... And feed it into her punch thing and then punch it down and would cut the edge here. And then she would do the same thing for the front. She fit, fit it into her punch like this and cut it off. I couldn't make it work because this is not big enough for it to go through. So I just didn't have an, a bigger size. Now if I would cut this down and made it a little smaller, it might have worked. But I don't think it would look good a little bit smaller. So that's why I just used my hands. <laughs> Use a... Uh, Grab the old coffee pod here and decide to figure that out. But anyway, these are really cute. I really um, enjoy them. They're quick and simple and very fast to make. So um, you can embellish them further if you want to. I, you know, I didn't. Um, I thought they were just cute the way they were and with the little flower and everything on there. So anyway... Um, that is my project for this week, for 24 weeks of Christmas. And just a little bit of announcement. I will not be having Thursday Night Live this week. Um, I just haven't had time to prepare for anything. And and honestly, you know, it's, uh, it's a little disheartening when you do it and you take all day to prepare for something and then, you know, you don't really get any response or anything. I had people show up last week, but they didn't interact with me. So um, it was a little disappointing. But that's not the main reason I'm not doing it tonight. The main reason is, well, two reasons. One, I did not have time to prepare today for it. And two, I just don't feel well enough to be on camera all night. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Give this a try. Like I said, very simple, very easy to do. And um, I just think this would be cute for a little happy mail thing, too. You could just fill up little treats and things like that in here in the little pocket. I mean, it holds a good bit. Um... Well, that's too big to go in. A, I was looking for something for an example. <laughs> but, you know, candy treats or little crafty treats, little, um, you know, anything. It also would hold an ATC in here. Um, it would hold just about anything, really. So, anything with about three inches or 
four inches but so yep that is my project all right guys have a lovely afternoon and i will see you all again tomorrow i have a video coming out tomorrow and other than that i'll see you soon bye